And it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma in <laughs> We're that... We're working on that. It's a dilemma in that Sybil's dances are very hard to truly dance by another, on another body, wouldn't you say? Her, I mean, especially her solos. The solos. The solos. The solos. The solos. People are making the effort and some are coming close. We recognize that if you don't have any performances, things die and fade away. So we have to keep figuring this out, but it is difficult. And dance is intangible. I mean, mm -hmm. a film is not a dance. <laughs> no. You know, like her creativity was like a golden ball that, you know, Helen just really helped. She was protected. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so that was, I mean, I, was, I believe that that was why Sybil was kind of able to do what she did because of first her own circumstance and then Helen was, you know, definitely, and, and Bob allowed Helen to do that. You know, it's interesting. I think the board has started to do its work. And I, I, as I confessed earlier, I didn't know who Sybil was. And I was a producing director of a place called Mo Ming for many years, bringing in Meredith Monk and, and bad boy Mark Morris when he was nobody. Uh, you know, all kinds of people. I didn't know who Sybil was. Now, Sybil was known by the North Shore, where she gave classes and so forth. Um, and there was pockets of people who knew her. Um, I, I don't know how many of the dancers I was producing knew her. But um, I think as a board, we've not only found those people, but we've begun to really get who she is out there a lot more. To the outside world and the ability to promote her idea of excellence and creativity. And it's in the three fact. books. And, and, and the and books. We have published uh, right. two, two, two of the two books, of the and the third is... Uh, in process. In my basement. <laughs>